If you're believing God for a miracle, then you need to never give up. Luke chapter 18, verse 1, and the New Living Translation. One day Jesus told his disciples a story to illustrate their need for constant prayer and to show them that they must never give up. If Jesus tells his disciples, he's telling you and I to never give up, never give up. You know, I've heard people say, well, I've sowed and I've sowed, but I never got my harvest. Look, you cannot allow doubt to get in. If God told you to sow, if he directed you what to plant and where to plant it, you need to know that God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23, 19. Galatians 6, 7, whatever you sow, that and that only is what you're going to reap. So never give up, never doubt. F.F. Bosworth said that faith and doubt cannot live in the same house. See, it's not a matter of if you're going to receive a harvest, it's when. God tells you it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Galatians 6, 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. The Greek word for due, well, it means pertaining to one's own self, one's own, and it's primarily translated as own, O-W-N. Now, the Greek word for season means due measure, a measure of time, large or smaller portion of time, the right time. It means the right time. In other words, the scripture is saying, that if you don't get weary and well-doing, that you'll get your harvest in your own time. But you never can give up. Galatians 6, 9, New Living Translation. So let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we'll reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. And one more scripture, 2 Timothy 3.10 and the New Century Version. Obey the teachings, but if you follow what I teach, the way I live, my goal faith, patience, and love. You know, I never give up. And neither should you. If you've done what God told you to do, it's going to happen. It's not if, it's when. So never give up. And that's what I call getting to the point.